Okay, so in this video I'm going to teach and show how to port forward a router um, so that you be able to make a local Minecraft game global for instance or for you Java, your Java programs so if you just found this video and don't know anything about me and just found this because you want to port forward your Minecraft server um, then don't get confused because I'll probably be talking something about programming too, mentioning that because I'm a programmer. Okay, so I just found out how to uh, do it um, and I used an old chat that I made for a test, uh, like you can see here, it's got some lines of text and it just worked. So the first thing you need, of course, is the program that you want to port for it and it can be anything like a Minecraft server uh, like I just said or a more complex program or game I'm just going to find my Minecraft directory so I can show that too games Minecraft Minecraft server um, and then the server.properties right click on it and just, just open it because I can use this as a reference too. But I used my little server chat uh, program here and it's got a server and a client that connects to it. Um, but it's local. This IP you see here is the local IP. Um, so I can't use it for outside outside uh, clients without port forwarding it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go on to portforward.com in here you press the routers button it'll probably uh, roll down a little menu but just uh, press on it then you need to find the your routers um, name product name and for instance mine is uh, Netgear and if you don't know the name then just go in and grab your router and the name will be on the top then you need to find the product number or yeah what you call it and if you don't know that too then just look under the router or at the sides of it or something like that and you'll be able to find it and mine is the um, this one WNDR3700 then you can just choose whatever program you want to I chose Minecraft as a reference because it was just easy Minecraft server and then you can read through this and it'll all make sense but I'll just demonstrate it for you so you go on to your um, you write your routers IP up here the first IP so you go on to your router then you press the username and um, many people have uh, don't change their uh, username and password so it's probably the default one and you can read that on the portforward.com too or it'll give you another link where you can uh, look through it but for instance mine is uh, username is admin and uh, the password is password and then I just click log in then I scroll down and if you have another router like um, another router than me then it'll probably look uh, different but it's um, it's probably the same so I scroll down at the side here and press port forward slash port triggering I'm just going to delete this um, then I click the add custom service in the service name you can write whatever you want to because it's just so you can keep track of your own list so if this uh, port is going to be used for your Minecraft server then write Minecraft server or one if you have more than one server or whatever you can just write server one or something like that I'm just going to write name one no. service one then you can just um, select TCP slash UDB, UDP um, and you can look more into it if you want to but I don't want to get explaining that's um, something more uh, how the data get transported and that's up to the program how it transport the data 
so you just select that one in the starting port and the ending port you select the uh, port name so for instance if it's minecraft then you just right click server properties and uh, this uh, Minecraft server and then where it says server port you copy that port and paste it into starting port and ending port then you write um, your own IP right here Whoa. your own current uh, IP uh, your local IP and you can get that if you have a Windows you can write CMD run that and IP config yeah and you can I want to here and you can just look for for the IPv4 address um, that's your local IP so 192.168.1 and 1.72 and my other Java program right here it uses this port uh, 50895 so I'm just going to write that into the port starting and ending port and I'm just going to click apply and now it's saved so you can just uh, close your uh, Netgear router thingy again um, and if your local IP changes then you of course need to go in and change this and you can always delete services um, but yeah close this then if you want to test it out then you can just go on to uh, what is my IP and look at your this is your global IP and you can go on to uh, can you see me dot org and then you write the it just uses your global IP of course and then you write whatever port you use and I use the uh, 50895 50895 and then I can press check and down here it says error hmm. why are you giving me oh um, you need to run the server or whatever program is going to use that port and um, connection and then you can test it out so check and then I can see success, I can see your service on and so on. So if you just write another port and it's it's uh, not been port forwarding or uh, something like that not being used then it will say error. Error. I could not see your service recent connected connection timed out. Um, so now that you've you've done this then you need to for you are, uh, I'm gonna say, if you're using it for a Minecraft uh, multiplayer server, then you need to give the other clients your your global IP, and then the then you uh, make some colons, and then you write the port that you used, and you just send that to whatever person wants to connect to your um, Minecraft server, and as long as your port is being port forward and your own IP address isn't changing then everything should be working fine if you run into some problems then feel free to um, write them to me post a comment or whatever you want to so that now when I've been port forwarding it, port forwarding it the, this uh, port correctly then I can just in here press uh, write my uh, global IP for instance press enter it turns blue that means it's connected I've made this these two programs here a very old program that I made a uh, simple chat um, if it turns red then it meant that it couldn't connect and while it's connecting it's black so now I can write whatever I want to in the chat and it was just just going to send the text in between and everything is working so yeah just a, a, a simple tutorial on how to do port forwarding on whatever you want to port forward so happy port forwarding and um, I hope everything works out for you people and um, 
yeah, I probably should have mentioned before, but all the links for these websites um, is in this description if you can't uh, find them. And why am I pointing down? I'm not even using the webcam. But yeah, all the links are in the description. And um, uh, you that got me started on this idea, please um, write a comment on this video so I can see your YouTube channel name and write that in the description too and give you some credits for helping me successfully successfully making this thing. But yeah. Sorry for that. But as I was saying, the comment the links are in the description. And um thanks to you that started giving me this idea. And um if you feel for it, then you can always uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. But until... yeah, see you next time.